Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this little video here. It's going to be casting Player Unknown's Battlegrounds because we truly love the game that much that we just have. We can't help ourselves. Is the short is the short and thick of it. Uh, so uh, we am um, uh, so happen to I shit you not guess the uh, password uh, to the uh, invitational servers that they got going on here. Uh, this is the fourth of May, by the way. Happy uh, Happy Star Wars Day. Uh, it is actually the day of the uh, Invitational going on right now, so um, we have unauthorized access to the uh, uh, actual server because we managed to guess the password. So uh, the first thing we'll say is, Panky, uh, get better network security because uh, right now this ain't going to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's going to be fun for us because we've been looking to cast this game for ages. I've been looking to cast this game for ages. I want to see uh, how this kind of thing plays out with Spectator Mode. So to have this kind of thing here already for me is a great uh, honor, even though I don't actually have access to it technically. But either way, this is the first matchup in the NA Invitational. Uh, if you guys want to uh, go ahead and get in touch, let us know what you think of our casting here on this YouTube video. Then you can go at SwitchJamie or at AzuraD. Uh, links will be in the description of the video below. And if we get banned, well, so be it. At least we had fun casting a match. We're going to be seeing the plane running over most of the midway area of the map. And unlike the EU teams, we're going to be seeing a bit more of a spread behind the actual uh, plane itself. We're going to be seeing uh, most players, of course, spreading out into that V area, spreading their way up towards the north. But as well as that, some little clusters holding down below the actual uh, uh, plane itself, and some are heading out towards the south. This could be an end up uh, end up being a, a very quick uh, fight. Uh, on our hands, particularly out towards uh, the uh, military base, where it looks like uh, uh, Rhino Q and uh, Linden uh, FP Sucks is heading towards. Yeah, we've got everyone kind of, as we saw in the EU matches, we've got, we've got everybody spread out. Nobody wants to be on the flight path and get killed first. So uh, they, they've spread out there in reasonably, well, in reasonable fashion. There's uh, a lot of people heading up towards the uh, big town, uh, Yasnaya. And a few people towards the small town of uh, Lipovka as well. Alright, then we have our little spreads and we'll be seeing uh, how this uh, whole thing comes into effect in a few seconds here. We've actually got a bit of a cluster around to uh, a Gatka, which could end up being a pretty uh, devastating for them. And meanwhile, we have actually got fire down. I'm not sure where it is. Um, I actually really want to keep my eye on... Uh, uh, on this guy here, DJ Pernicuous. I have I don't know if I'm saying that word right or if I'm just butchering his name. Uh, because I can't seem to spot his teammate. They seem to have gotten separated here uh, in the invitation. But he's going to be landing pretty uh, uh, in a pretty low area. And already we're going to be seeing little Lexi getting taken down. We're already going to take down a first immediately out towards uh, whereabouts is it going down. It's going out in a uh, uh, pachinki of all places. So it's a great start already. We're going to be seeing picks and kills coming on through here. And uh, we will see we the go. players try and see what they can do. We've got one player tagged down very, very low in this uh, 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 in this city here. Yeah, it's just going into this house here. Uh, Rides double uh, zero triple seven. Uh, one of the NA streamers invited to this invitation. Ed Monster. Just have a couple of people around him. Yeah, Ed Monster in particular is the closest player. I think that's where they were challenging earlier. They're not on the same team, so they'll be looking to try. And they take each other out. I think, also for the most part, Ed Monster has actually won out this uh, particular fight as the Roids has actually been pushed away. And uh, it would be nice to see if we can see the inventory, because I don't think he's got any medical supplies. His health isn't really going up. It is going up little bits by bits. He is getting himself some uh, wounds being bandaged. So it's not going to be that bad, all things considered here. Uh, they're just going to split up now. Uh, Eddie Monster is just going to go into our Phantom or Loot. The top of the map, however, we have. Two teams close, in, close to each other, uh, Mr. Moon and uh, in with Athos. That would be quite a far away away, actually, if you can take a look at the current health situation. Uh, DJ uh, Pernicus is not looking too good at his current, positional, uh, uh, current positioning here. He's hearing a lot of footsteps around him. There are two players that are very, very close to his angle. He's got a lot amount of HP, so the moment this challenge comes out, this is going to be very difficult for him. Rhino Q is coming down. This is going to get spotted out. You should be able to take him out. No, he's going to head outside instead. So back in towards the military base. Not going to find anything there. And uh, so far, well, we will be seeing our zone come into play. Um, safe zone in the middle of the map. Pretty standard, of course, and it covers most of the players. But we're going to have to worry about seeing where these other guys from outside of the uh, area are going to have to make their way in towards uh, um, 
in towards the uh, play zone before the zone comes in, especially up to uh, uh, Z Z Z Zaki. Zaki, is that how you say it? Uh, top left. <laughs> I can't. Aye. I'm I'm g I'm not good with dyslexia. <laughs> Let's put it that yeah, way. We'll We'll call it Zaki. We'll call Zaki. Zaki. Right, Zaki, yeah. So this team, Mark, Storm, and Kuda, have a couple of probably worries if they hang around Zaki too long. Uh, and I do see one of them flashing, however, that's a bug. Uh, going back to Rhino Q. Uh, DJ Pernicus actually seems to be on his own. Old early game. I'm not sure if his teammate's gone down or whether there's uh, something else going on like that, but, uh... Oh, look. Either way. Yeah, either way, it's still going to be, for the most part, very uh, early days here in the uh, matchup. No real sense of, uh, 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 no real sense of challenges like you would see in most uh, uh, titles. I think the closest thing we've got right now, or, or the closest challenge that we're going to find right here, is uh, uh, in Pachinki. We have got two teams actually held up uh, uh, in individual status. Actually, I think that is actually uh, 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 three teams of uh, two single players and uh, an actual team themselves stacked up here. So this could get very yeah, interesting Eddie very Monster. quickly here. Yeah, Eddie Monster is still kind of on his own. Void Zero Triple Seven has healed up. I have the team of Diesel and uh, can't pronounce that other name. I uh, just kind of sat here in the yeah. Okay, miss me. They're kind of uh, sat on. It's over here in the side, so they're probably going to end up meeting each other quite soon. It does look like they're slowly making their way in between each other. Roy is just kind of holding out, still up towards that top uh, area uh, in one of the um, uh, uh, in one of the houses. So already not a good start, but you can take a look, you can take a look at a quick above view of how this is going to play out because you can kind of see that these guys are. Well, slowly moving in towards each other. Roy is now starting to make his move, trying to look for a bit more loot. Trust if he can get his healing up a little bit further. Painkiller or energy drink would be great to uh, find. So seeing these guys kind of clash would be a very interesting fight nonetheless. But uh, it definitely seems like it will go to the favour of Miss May and Diesel, or Mrs. May and Diesel, because uh, they have got themselves, you know, quite a, uh, uh, yeah, quite the advantage when compared to these two. If Roy's and Ed Monster... Uh, want to try and uh, uh, take them down, they're going to have to form up. And when you're in a 1v1v2 situation like that, you know, it's probably unlikely that you're going to be able to form those quick, uh, uh, those quick, uh, those quick alliances, especially when you're in a situation, you know, where everyone is v everyone. And the moment you get those guys, the moment when you get Diesel and Miss May in that situation, then all bets are off. You'll be enemies again. So there's a lot of risks riding on it. So far, we've yeah. only lost a few players in this matchup. 59 alive. I don't want to interrupt here, but up in the northern town of Severny, I'm kind of closing in on I called Sniper Name 6, Halifax and Sakisha. Halifax and Sakisha. Yeah, you're right about this now. They seem to be getting themselves out of dodge. I'm not sure whether they've spotted each other out, but either way, Halifax is still watching out that area. And look at this, it's going to be Sfaxi, who's actually going to get first face right there. Spots them out, retreats immediately. Just not getting himself into that dangerous position where he doesn't get taken down so easily here. He's got, he's got himself an AK. We'll have to deal with a SCAR and an SMG. But here we can see, taking first challenge, tacking up Halifax. Is he going to take that shot? Yes, he takes him up a little bit more. Takes a second, but he's not going to find that second tag. So all in all, it will still be at least a bit of information given away. So they'll have to back off. They're going to have to form up and towards this small greenhouse here and try not to get themselves killed. Yeah, they're going to have to use healing items here just to actually get that health back up. As uh, being in the red, even a tiny little bit, is not... Yeah, ...in a tournament invitational like this. And you just wound. Sniping MG trying to get himself straight up into... I think into the flank. I think they realise they have the information on where he is specifically, so... To be in this kind of a position would be a very good spot. Here you can see you can see the house. So once he moves in towards the Sequisha and Halifax, then this is going to be a, uh, a very easy couple of picks. And Halifax, I think, is actually trying to peek out here and uh, get the information on his side. He is get he is peeking out, but I think that wall is just about covering him from uh, uh, G's angles here. And they're just kind of holding themselves down to ensure they haven't got down. Meanwhile, we have actually lost someone. We're down to 58. I'm not sure where that's gone down. It has actually been Ed Monster getting taken down. So back over to Pachinki real quick. We are seeing the uh, fights going on, going on in that particular town. Roy is on top of the roofs here. He's trying to get himself the high ground. And right now, Miss May and uh, uh, Diesel are still holding face uh, in that same building here. They have made their way all the way up towards the, uh, uh, the uh, western side of the town. 
and the red zone is closing in, so Roy's will have to get himself a little bit further out of dodge since he will be in danger. Drops off the uh, story, it takes a little bit of damage, but not all that much, and he has very little information to work with in, in this particular case against Miss May and Diesel, so, you know, this could be a very interesting fight nonetheless. Yeah, I do believe they know where he is, though. Um... That. Actually, I want to check in with uh, one of the teams or rare teams in the show G and Summit. Uh, you are cutting out, by the way, mate, if you want to just turn down your mic sensitivity on the TS real quick. I better. Yeah, it's alright. Listen, okay, so it's Fixie and uh, uh, Sniper named G, meanwhile, out towards the uh, top of the map. Uh, still in Sverney. Are going to be holding down, trying to look for uh, the kills on uh, Halifax and uh, Sequisha, so. There's still quite a good amount to do here in terms of these two teams. Uh, they have pushed themselves up towards the northern side of the map, so, oh sorry, the eastern side of the map, uh, close down towards the south, so they are trying to push them away from the uh, uh, play zone area, and they are taking a bit of a risk getting themselves in towards the open field. The moment they go there, they're going to have full access, because look at this, they've got a Dacia on this uh, team here, so this could end up being a fight that goes quickly to the favour of uh, Sniper named G and Sphixie, although, as I say that, Looks like they're getting themselves back out of dodge and in towards the f uh, safe zone itself. So, going to opt to completely leave that fight. So, let's head back over to Pachinki and see what's going on down there because there's still quite a little bit going on as there's actually going to be another team ending their way on through here. Uh, Steve O'Live and uh, 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 Kili Kapowski be moving their way in towards Pachinki. So, suddenly this fight just got a lot more interesting with Roy still on his own. He will take the challenge on towards Diesel, try and take that fight right there. Zoom in on him and follow him for a little bit. He's got himself the high ground. He's also going to hear that the information. Yeah, Diesel did get tagged a little bit there, down to about half HP. So, again, he's going to need to use healing items to actually... There we go, he's used the first aid kit, which may have been a little bit of a waste there. Uh, he was only on half HP, he could have used a couple of bandages. But unless he's uh, abundant in first aid kits, it doesn't really matter. We have seen one more go down as well. Red zone still closing in up a chinky, so it's still kind of uh, there. Meanwhile, towards the outside and lip of Curtis to take a quick <coughs> a quick general look of uh, how this is all going down at the moment because out towards the um, uh, uh, the military base, Rhino Q and uh, DJ Panicuous aren't doing too well, and I think Rhino Q is about to go down uh, here. He will get tagged up as G DJ Panicuous is on the high ground trying to look for that one frag right there. Just, try, yeah. just trying to take him down at this point, and uh, uh, Linden FPS sucks. Ain't looking too hot either, down on his knees. Here it is, just tapping away, looking for that last kill, looking to try and take him down. He's just about in the safe zone, so these two are going to be in a very bad spot from their angle. They are going to be pushed back, and the damage will start to rain on through. So we'll see if they can come down. Meanwhile, Roy's actually going to take down the Miss, uh, Mrs. May already. So that's already one player out towards the Pachinki area that will be going down. But DJ Panicchio is still holding face inside the zone itself. He's trying to get that last kill, trying to get that one little bit, and there it is. London FPS sucks, goes down, knocked out. Again, second Again. time he's been knocked out now. Uh, he's going to take down uh, Rhino Q as well. They're not getting out of that zone alive. No, you're definitely right about that. This is just going to be the kills that eventually rain on through, and he's just holding face to try and set the insurance policy at this point, just trying not to make sure they get themselves up. Try and ensure that Rhino Q, and there it is. London FP sucks, goes down. Darkness is also down out with the uh, uh, by uh, jo uh, Johns and men. Johns and man. And Rhino Q has actually yeah. got himself up the health at least. He's got himself a health kit. He's using that to his advantage. And now, DJ Paniculus is just trying to see whatever he can find at this point. There's nothing going to be coming through. The zone is very, very close away from him. So at the moment, this is a huge risk to try and get this kill uh, out towards the military base. He's held back inside the uh, zone eventually. But Rhino Q is still challenging on to Rhino Q. Look at this. Like, he's so far down south. He's probably going to end up dying very, very soon here. So let's go ahead and see what else we can focus on. Mark Storm TV is on his own, I do believe. Uh, he is, in fact, no, he is actually with Kuda87, so that's a great start uh, already from their side uh, to keep themselves alive. But they have got a little bit of tag damage on several of their, uh, on a little bit of their health, particularly Mark Storm TV, just putting himself in a bit of a bad spot in terms of the combat here. Yeah, I'm just actually taking a look around the little areas here where a lot of people are actually grouping up. So, you see at the top, at the north, Sniper MG, uh, we saw them earlier. They're going to be meeting up with uh, King Lothric up here. They're taking shots at an actual uh, crate drop, so Shorty has actually gone for the crate drop. He's going to get what, whatever's in it, he's going to be protected. Uh, but he, uh, Sniping MG is taking shots at it, so see what happens here. Yeah, they are quite far off. You can kind of see the distance here. 
King Lothric as well is also backing up Shorty in the best way that he can. And Sphixie will get tagged up a little bit in the exchange. But so far, the long range fights, I think Shorty's just got all he needed, just getting in, taking out uh, whatever was in that crate and getting away. So now they just make their way in towards the play area. This is quite risky because look at how open they are. Good shots coming in from the snipers would be very, very good. And considering that Sniper and MG is also out there, he has actually got himself a sniper rifle. He's got himself a shotgun. I'm not sure what that second gun is on his, on his back, but it looks to be an uh, M4. So. Won't be easy to land those shots. They'll get away scot-free, and they will have gotten everything that they would have needed out of that particular uh, 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 crate. So meanwhile, let's yes. have a look and see what else we're going to go on here. Actually, we have got a bit of a, uh, a closing in coming on through here. Uh, in the sort of the middle area, Ezekiel Free and Athos are starting to close in on uh, Viz Games and Smuck here. Yeah, and Viz Games and Smuck uh, only have UMPs, so they're not going to be that powerful at these long ranges. There's uh, Athos here, he has a, a Scar, he has a Vector as well, so he's got a right, the mid to short ranges. Uh, they are going to elect to actually run away from the battle. So once you realise you're at a disadvantage, back away, don't get taken down. Good play so far, 53 players remain alive, and at the moment let's have a look at the current situation of how the uh, uh, zone's looking on through. DJ Panicki is actually going to get himself just about away in time as he's got himself a vehicle. Rhino Q is still sitting in there, but look at this. He's going to drive straight in towards the red zone, which ain't going to be that pretty for him. Now they will start to close their way on through here. Sphixie and Sniper and MG are going to close in on Shorty and Lothric, on, uh, uh, yeah, on uh, King Lothric as well. So there's still a lot of uh, there's still a lot of potential fights that can go on. Meanwhile, Smixie is uh, getting taken down. Phantom Ace goes down as well as uh, uh, I Jericho and uh, 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 oh no, I Jericho still challenging. Sorry, I thought it was a team right there. It's not really the case. Actually, does go down to Jonas and Man. Yep, they're so both down are. now. So that's uh, he gets two kills and a buggy for himself. Very nicely done from Jonas and Man. Very nicely done. So now 50 players alive. We're down to our top sort of half at this point. Well, sorry, I'm considering that as if it's a uh, uh, as if it's a hundred man game, which of course is not as yeah. invitational. See, this is how much I played this game. I just assume now it's just going to be that <laughs> way. All right, let's have a look uh, at what seen. else is going on. Let's have a look at Pachinki real quick, because Summit 1G and uh, his teammate are now starting to make, they actually made their way in towards Pachinki. Josh OG, they're kind of holding tight in one of the, uh, 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 on one of the roofs. And Diesel's still here. Diesel's still holding out. His teammate's gone down. And the Roids 0777 is still playing in this very area. He's, he's just not moved whatsoever. He's just chilling out. He's just hanging out and having some fun. So... For him, you know, yeah, this is kind of like his, his his playground at this point. This is where he he owns this place. Yeah, they're trying to stay in Pachinki until the actual zone forces them out. Uh, it's quite a good area to actually be in, to be honest. There's a lot of a lot of buildings, a lot of corners to hide yourself around. Royds is actually elected to actually walk himself away from Pachinki. He's actually walking over the fields here towards uh, these two barns. I'm gonna see what he can find. Meanwhile, I just want to draw your attention to a quick fight that's going down south of Pachinki Hill. Here we've got uh, Pudo and the Loyal Patriot up against Gassy Mexican and Curvy Llama. Curvy Llama and Gassy Mexican are held up towards top here in this small house. In this small little settlement here, and they're kind of like held out in this one room. They know that they're both of the players are down there. Look at this. Loyal Patriot's going to move on through. He's going to get tanked up quite a little bit, but it's not going to be the case as both teams, both players are going to move quickly on towards trying to take these two down. It's going to have to be more pass or more aggressive defensive coming in. The shotgun's out for Gassy Mexican. But what are they going to find here? It's going to be, well, quite difficult for them. Still holding them towards that top roof, and I think the footsteps are going to start giving away positions. Gassy Mexican in particular. He's holding very, very Ooh. close as the grenades are going out. They're not going to give up anything in this case. Yeah, Loyal Patriot actually just missed a grenade there. He's trying to get it through the window to at least get down on one of the, the uh, one of the players up there. But he, uh, he hit it off the window sill, so rip to him. Look at this lovely Patriot. is right up in there. He's going to be trying to take that first phase. He's trying to take any tag damage he can. They've got themselves surrounded, but this is quite smart from Gassy and Llama because if they can get themselves in with that good chance, if they can just avoid the grenades, and this could end up being a, uh, a great defensive and just holding down a couple of different angles. They're still trying to make their way on through. So far, the damage has not been to their favor so far. Look around the other side there. It looks like uh, Loyal Patriot's teammate is actually going to try and go in with the UMP. It's making the making the entry now. It's gonna happen. They don't know they're upstairs. At least it looks like. Yeah, Pudo. Or Pudado, I should say. I can read, I promise. He's now gonna start peeking <laughs> on through and 
The doors are closed. Like, they're trying to see if they can spot anybody. Meanwhile, out towards another area of the map, Fairlight's taken down Baru. So, the 45 players left alive in the map. Take a quick overview of what's going down here. Is actually going yeah. on just slightly north of Pachinki, but we'll keep our eyes spectated on this one. Blackman goes falling as well. So, they're going to start moving. Has actually shrunk quite a considerable amount towards Rosok and the school. Now, that is going to force a lot of people to start moving. Not to mention these guys here, as it looks like we're finally going to see first phase coming in from uh, Pudado. They're both watching the cross here on this uh, door, so the moment he peeks, it's just going to get closed down immediately. This is exactly what Gassi and the Llama wanted. A smoke grenade is going to get botched, so thank uh, God it wasn't a real <laughs> grenade, otherwise that would have really sucked. But either way, they're watching, they're waiting for him to push on through, and when he does... Like you can see him right there. This is our player view, by the way. This is, you can just see him immediately around that corner. So once he peeks, you know, Kirby Lama is going to have to try to take that fight. Wounds bandaged yeah. of reasons I'm not sure why. It looks like he's got like max HP here. And the door gets closed or it gets opened. They've got to start moving real quick, though, because like you said, that zone's closed very, very close. It's out towards Roshok and uh, Yasna, uh, Pola, um Polina. So they've got to take these two and they've got to run or they've got to just run straight up. Loyal Patriot's going to move. He's going to run away. There's also a vehicle moving on through, so they don't even know what's going on. There's actually going to be the vehicle running away, so... Here we go. Sprays on through, trying to take down Kirby Llama, but Kirby Llama's not going to take any damage. They'll bust open the door, but that's about it. And they're just playing the chess long game. They're trying, playing for the first mistake, and they will bust the door open eventually. And now, here we go. It's got to come in at some point. These guys have got to make this move eventually. It really is. It's a, it's a game of patience who's going to peak first. Is it going to be Gassi with his shotgun? Is it going to be uh, Pirado with the UMP? Only time will tell. Loyal Patriot has actually he moved the cart and actually walked back. So. They're retreating. They're backing out. They're going to get themselves yep. out. Because they, they realize the zone is coming in. So now they've got to get themselves away. And they will do exactly that. They're going to start running. Gassi Mexican and uh, Kirby Lama are going to opt to just hold things out. So this fight is done. They're running away. They're retreating. And in the end, it will just not be anything coming in for anyone here now. Hello, El Renene. Ava, uh, Ava Jai Jai. I have no idea how to say these names. I'm so <laughs> dyslexic. It's going to oh. be also challenge going down towards the south area of uh, Yasna Polanavia. Just missed the moon on his own. His teammate has gone down. And he's holding out inside one of these buildings, just looking for a chance to uh, stay alive against the team of. Where are they? Oh, yeah. Steve, -O, uh, Steve -O Live and uh, Kili Kapowski. Both held up very close towards the edge here. It's going to close in very, very slowly in that area. Obviously, it's a uh, uh, minute to go. It has just closed into the area. But look at this, how, how how small it's getting at this point. It's going to be such a crucial amount of uh, challenges coming on here. Rhino Q is, is on his own, very, very low in his case. Fairlight's moving on through. And right now, all these players are just trying to take whatever uh, liberties they can in whatever, in whatever angles they can. As you can see, there are kills going down left, right, and center at this present point. Mr. Moon still staying alive. They will kind of get themselves in towards the uh, zone area. Still two cars driving around, so we'll kind of focus on... Who should we focus on? Actually, towards Roshok. Pocket's a little bit close out here. He's out in the open. He's trying to get himself into a good position where he won't get taken down, but he's being chased by two members of another team. Mark Storm TV and Kuda87, who I do think just spotted him out right there. He's going to get himself immediately out of dodge up towards his house actually he might go challenging and this can end up being well either for better or for worse he's going to see Kuda. Kuda's going to spot him out and he's going to see if he can try out flank him he's trying to cut him off he's not going to make his way in towards a in towards a building here yeah he's going to opt to go right around i don't even know he realizes he's being chased do mark storm and Kuda realize they're actually chasing someone or they're, or they're going to get no. involved around no they're going for the drop so a, a confrontation that almost went down it could have ended up so disastrously for one ended up not being the case at all pocket will get himself away and there it is if you look towards the south, there's about five people who have all lined up, so we're really close. Let's, uh, let's focus on Diesel. He's, uh, he's basically within shooting range of at least three or four other people. Oh, here it comes. It's going to be Gassy Mexican and Curved Llama trying to see if they can challenge on through. We'll actually take a one dig, and there he is. He's going to get shot up from the side. It's uh, Avaj Jajai. <laughs> I can't say names. <laughs> going to take him down. <laughs> LOL Renene also in that team, so... It will still be those two staying into this matchup here. And we'll watch out as Laura Patriots also down and out for the count for the most part here. We'll get picked up by his teammate. There's still a lot more to do. Richard Hammer and HC Justin back out. And the zone's starting to close its way in. So he needs to get up. He needs to get up now. And they need to move because here it is. It's just going to close its way slowly on through. And now look at that HP. Laura Patriot needs to move. He needs to get himself out unless he's getting himself in with a... Uh, with a uh, 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 
a thing right there. Yeah, a, a med kit. He'll get himself straight yeah. through with that much. So there it comes. The heels out. But look at this. These guys are all coming on through. They're all trying to stop the uh, zone from closing in on them. And they're just going to get shut down. Look, at uh, 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 Ava Jai Jai. I can't click on anybody. The uh, the, thing, <laughs> the thing is actually broken. Sorry, give me one second. Yeah, we've got the uh, uh, team of Eleanor and Ana and uh, uh, Ava Jai Jai just tapping away, trying to make a take down Pudada. And Pudada's going to get tagged up. No, LOL goes down, and there it is. That team gets eliminated within two kills. Very easily done. And now the rest of those guys are going to start moving their way quickly and quietly. Or just quickly in general on through right there. Pradado's uh, team, uh, P P yeah, Pradado's uh, teammate, Loyal Patriot, is getting tagged up by the zone. So he's running out of health. And he hasn't really got anything to be working with. It'll still be Aphos challenging as well out towards uh, uh, Pradado. And he'll get himself he out, of the, out of dodge with the uh, vector. He goes down eventually just on the edge of the zone, but would he be read onto by his teammate? I don't think he does. I think, no, they both went down, oh, so there yeah, it is. They both died, they both died yeah. outside the play zone. That's how the health hurts you in big times. Yeah, and I was, uh, I'm jumping on with Athos 19D here. He's uh, one on the very edge of the zone. Up with his teammate, uh, Ezekiel 3. They were getting close to uh, Killer Kapowski here. Over towards the Athos uh, settlement to the southeast. I wonder if they'll actually find each other. Let's take a look at this. Meanwhile, in the middle, take a look at this. A very close race. Flight going to go down. It will actually end up being Mr. Grimm. It's going to go falling right there. And now it's just all down to, well, whatever King Lorifrit can find. He finds himself that kill onto Shorty. Shorty's dead. But Shorty's going to get picked up, so they are on the same team. So my mistake. A bit of a cluster going down. I didn't even <laughs> realize what was going on. But either way, they'll win that. They'll take control of one of the key settlements here in the play area itself. Yeah, so the now fact that was... The fact that there was about 35 people about two minutes ago is quite insane in this small of a circle as well. They're still getting tagged up pretty hard. They're going to get themselves in to use the first aid kits out in this area as the play zone is almost ready to move on through here. They are being covered and watched from long range angles, but more importantly, there is actually Mr. Moon closing in on two players, Smuck and Viz Games. Trying to get himself in towards a good shot. I think he realizes that they are in this house area. So we'll watch this one. We'll watch how this fight goes down for a second here. And uh, he's holding back behind the tree. Smuck and Viz Games. Are they going to peek? They are peeking, actually. They are trying to see if they can spot him out. So, you know, they don't even have any idea. Mr. Moon is just trying to close in, trying to get himself in towards the zone and uh, try and get himself a couple of kills here. There is a vehicle coming on through from Summit 1G, who's all on his own. Rhino Q is also on his own, but he's, I think he's on the same team as these guys. Oh, no, he's not. Sorry, excuse me. I'm just uh, reading colors wrong. Either way, we're Rhino Q and Summit 1G just challenging on through towards each other. Summit is trying to take this kill. We'll jump on board with him very, very quickly. He's left his Jeep behind, but he gets tagged up. There it is. He's Rhino dead. Q takes him down. We were talking about whether he can muster the muscle. In this case, he can't. Sniper named G, meanwhile, is directly outside. But look at his positional mark, Summon Kuda. He has a perfect spot on both of them. And right now, they don't even realize where he is. He's moving slowly but surely up towards tree cover. Now they are going to peek on through. And now he will stand up. Now he will try and see if he can take the kills. An M4 in his hand. Two players to find. Kuda's also tagged up by challenging onto Rhino Q. And Rhino Q is also going to fight back. He's going to fight back and do some serious damage. This could really open up a chance because he's charging straight on through. He's going to try to see if he can take the kills. It's easy picks. Kuda's up next to the chopping block. And he's going to take himself a double. No. Kuda takes him right back out of the action. And then it's a brilliant kill to keep him and his teammate barely on the edge of this matchup. That was, that was insane. I think about three people, four people just dying in about five seconds. So... Uh, Kuda is going to pick up his teammate here, uh, Maxstrom, and they are going to run into relative safety behind this rock. Uh, they know their nose on behind them, they just killed. I mean, well, I have to stop you real quick because Mr. Moon is actually moving in towards that same position up against Smuck and his teammate. Uh, uh, I can't see the thing. Motion blur is fucking with me. But either way, they're going to start. Uh, uh, they're gonna, he's going to start moving his way on through. He's got a double barrel shotgun. He's going to try to take those two shots. Fox out the first. He's going to get tagged up, and he's trying to play so close range. Misses the first. Now he has to reload. Now he has to take a second shot. Otherwise, that's going to be all over for him. He's in a one versus two situation. It's very, very difficult for him to win this one. And here they are. They're going to start moving away and getting the aggression in towards him. He's going to be on the edge of the play zone, but it's going to be the play zone for him nonetheless. Goes charging on through. Right, his close range shot takes down Smuck. No Smuck. Drop shot takes him out of the action. Mr. Moon's down. We're into our top eight now here. It's Mark Storm TV and Kuda87. Athos and his teammate Ezekiel the third. Uh, King Lothric and Shorty and Smuck and Viz Games here. All within the same play area. It is going to be a very close one, guys. Yeah, they're all basically in the four corners of the circle. They're all closing in on each other. Uh, Max, uh, Max from TV and Kuda are actually the closest here to Smack and Viz Games. So we're probably going to see them fight pretty soon.
So, saying that, Ezekiel 3 is walking up towards Maxstrom and they don't seem to notice it. Yeah, they, I don't think they realise this. I think they're focusing more on Smuck and Biz games because they heard the fight going down. So for Ezekiel the third, we might be seeing another situation where we might have such a good angle, but he's looking the wrong way. He's looking towards Smuck and Biz games. Does he spot out Mark Storm TV? No, I think Mark Storm TV might have spotted him out first. Now it's going to be shots coming down. Ezekiel's going to get closed in from the back by the uh, zone as well. Gets taken down. Athos, last man alive for his team will try running away behind the rock but the zone's closing in and now it's going to close even further it's for Athos this time but now Mark Storm and Kuda know exactly where he is it will be smokes out grenades trying to keep him at bay it's just picking out as much as he can and there is the execution coming in from Mark Storm onto Ezekiel the third Athos will tap away but there's no chance he can win the range game he'll go down one more team down six alive as King Lothric and Shorty are in a jeep and they're looking to try and clean things up from their positions Yep, they're sat in the circle here. They're just going to be sat behind the jeep, drinking their energy drinks, actually getting that stamina up so they can run a little faster, and uh, keep the healing up if they do get hit. So, yeah, there's basically three people in all in a triangle here, of trying to avoid each other right now. The zone is going to force Smack and Fist Games in. It's also going to force faster. Shorty and uh, King Lothric in as well. Yeah, although King Lothric and Shorty are quite close to the circle, so Smack and Biz Games will have to move first. And meanwhile, Mark, Storm and Kuda are trying to, try, can't try to challenge onto Biz Games and Smack, take them down if they can. So let's see how they manage to find this one. They're on top of the hill. Smack and Biz Games are going to give up their cover. So this may be pretty crucial. This is going to be Snipers. Biz Game gets tagged up hard. Smack tagged down a little bit more. Meanwhile, the other two teams are closing in on the site. There he is. He's going to go down. Biz Games is out of the action. Smack's too far away. Is he challenging on towards Shorty? I think he is. Shorty's trying to take it down. Shorty still goes down. However, Smack's still doing some good work. And now he's going to see if he can try to take down King Loth because he spots him out. Gets tagged up anyway. He's so low on a HP. So he's really got to find this kill because the other two players are closing in on his position. It's in towards the zone. It's going to be the uh, uh, blue zone closing in very very quickly and King Lothric is now in such a bad position the best team at the moment is getting himself in towards that uh, jeep but the best team at the moment is currently the uh, 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 the duo of uh, Marksman Markstorm TV and Kuda87 because Viz Games is going to sorry Smack is going to take down Shorty and Viz Games is going to die so now Smack is the last man alive challenging onto King Lothric either way King Lothric is solo and he will end up going down here solo in Manta HP he's got to find his kill no. he still finds it no way but now he's in a two versus one he's got to get himself the med kit he's got to use it because now these other two players are closing in very very close to his angles he's one in the last three alive and he's got to find these two he's got to find them quick he knows that they are above he had a med that kit. he did have a med kit he's getting himself up to full and now he's got himself the energy kit so let's see if he can try and take that challenge he gets tagged up immediately but now he can't peek out from either side because now both these guys are going to watch this face for suicide of the he'll still take the frag on towards mark storm tv he's tagged up pretty hard for a second on takuda takes him up with a good amount of, amount of tag damage it's a one versus two but he's so far he's winning it to his advantage now he's going to take the kill almost down on kuda 87 he's alone such a long amount of hp and there he is he goes falling but it's just too much for him mark storm comes in from the left hand side and they claim themselves first place for their team that was epic that's the only thing i can say about that final battle that was epic Indeed it was. It was so close down to the wire with those last six and it was an absolutely beautiful fight towards the end. But we of course do have ga game two coming up in just a short few seconds here on the uh, PUBG Invitational. Of course, big shout out to our uh, sponsors, uh, NVIDIA and uh, Astro and Intel. And of course, the charity we're helping at Gamers uh, Outreach, uh, helping others level up. So make sure you get yourself in with the charity donations and we'll be back in just a few minutes for match number two.